What is going on, you guys? Pet Platypus here, and it is time to talk about Toriko Chapter 385. Overall, this was a pretty solid chapter, really good Midera chapter for characterization. Though I will say, a little bit cheesy, uh, some of the stuff he was saying about the whole full course thing. Like, the key moments for me in this chapter were the start, saying meeting her was the hors d'oeuvre. I was like, okay, that's really, really cool, and he starts talking about the full course. And as he continues, it gets a little cheesy, but it's still fine. Overall, it works. The second key thing is when he tears up. I think that was a good moment. And, of course, killing Joa at the end, or seemingly killing Joa. We don't have a kill confirmed yet, but seemingly he beat Joa, so hopefully that character can just be dead so we can move on to just Acacia, move on to the final fight, what will probably be the final fight of the Toriko series. Will it end on Chapter 400? At this rate, if Joa is out of the game, possibly. I mean, what's that still another, like, 15 chapters? Five or six to defeat Acacia, maybe even ten chapters to defeat Acacia. You still have another five chapters of wrap up, plus final chapter would probably be extended a bit. So there's definitely time to finish the series within uh, the next fifteen chapters. But I, it sounds crazy to say Toriko is going to end in fifteen chapters. Like I just, I just, I don't think that's the case. But I do think the series is probably on its final arc. But we'll just have to wait and see. Uh, that's like a dead horse that I always end up bringing up in my Toriko chapter reviews that it might be ending soon. But no, those were the key moments though. And him talking about Froze and everything. We kind of already knew their history and everything. So it's nothing like too monumental. Uh, but there is the scene at the beginning where Toriko's like, yeah, we can probably trust Pear for now. And uh, they also talk about the whole uh, capture level thing of Neo. We don't know what the capture level is yet, but it's probably going to be something insane. I mean, no matter what it is, it's not going to fucking surprise me. It would have to be pretty fucking ridiculous to surprise me at this point. Because God is 10,000. That's the highest we've seen. Uh, it would have to be absurd to fucking surprise me. And I can't see him being that much stronger than God. So we'll have to wait and see. Of course, sometimes capture level plays into how rare they are, too. It doesn't always play into you know, how strong they are, but either way, it's basically like a power level thing. Uh, but yeah, we did see Neo get hit by a little laser before, uh, just out of nowhere in a previous chapter, and we didn't really know what that was, I guess, because he had just been hit by uh, Darius, or whatever his name is, you know, the dragon. He just got hit by his energy beam, so I was kind of like, is that like a part of the beam still? I wasn't sure what that was, but yeah, he did get capture level fucking the little laser thing, so... We'll see what that is probably next chapter. Uh, will the capture level be different because he's now fused with Acacia? I don't know. Acacia, whatever. Um, but no, and then Toriko coming in there with that punch on Acacia. Can Toriko fight Acacia? We don't know yet. Probably, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, it was a sucker punch, so it's not that big of a deal that he was able to pull that off. But we'll have to see what happens. If Midoriya's done with Joa, then we might actually get... Toriko, Stargin, and Midera versus Acacia, and that could be really cool. I don't know how much stamina fucking Stargin has left, but it could be really cool to see all three of them take on uh, take on Acacia, but we'll just have to wait and see, like I said. But um, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much the chapter. It's a really simple chapter. There's really not much to go into as far as Midera's... Uh, conversation because it's just stuff we kind of knew about Mitter already. He just wanted to put a little bit of a poetic, like, full course spin on it. Thought it was a little cheesy. Loved how it started, though. And when I say it's a little cheesy, not a big deal at all. Total nitpicking, total, like, aside. It's not that big of a deal. It works overall. It was a pretty damn solid chapter. I'd say taking out one of the major villains, if they're taken out... It's pretty damn big story progression. Toriko's back in the game, so there's story progression here. The art was consistent in this chapter. It was really good artwork-wise, which Toriko always has. Really good art. Oh, and there was a little bit of fighting, too. We did get um, a gourmet punch that he minority whirled and sent right back at Acacia. Yeah, that was awesome. Though Acacia doesn't seem phased by getting hit by his own attack, so we'll just have to see. I mean, I mean, Midera has gotten a lot stronger, but is he really damaging Acacia? We'll have to wait and see. Um... But yeah, this is just really good chapter overall, so probably give it a solid 8 out of 10. Very good chapter. So, with that being said, what did you guys think of this chapter of Toriko? You can tell me in the comments section below. You can also follow me on Instagram or add me on PSN, even though I don't post anything on fucking Instagram. Uh, you can also give this video a thumbs up and share it on social media. Both of those would help me out a lot. Subscribe if you haven't already or if you like what you've seen here. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.